Okay, 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 okay. 21 Pilots fans. One minute until your favorite band Grace is out here on Radio 1. And who's with me for it? My name is Caitlin, and I'm from Vermont. And 21 Pilots means so much to me that I travel every year for shows for them. This commitment, Caitlin, and I respect it. To me, 21 Pilots is literally just like... I don't think I've ever heard music like that. It's just the way it's so beautiful, and I just know it resonates so deeply with so many people. It just makes so many of us feel so seen and valued, and I cannot describe how much this band means to me. Okay, I've been waiting for this interview for a minute because I've been loving the music. Fresh stuff from 21 Pilots is sounding incredible, and the boys are hanging out. Make some noise for Tyler and Josh, everybody. Yeah. Come on. I'd like to start on Overcompensate, if that's all right. Let's do it. Oh, my God, dude. What a song. Thanks. What a song. One of the best songs of the year. Stab it. Oh. Fl flat out. Stab it. You know, we go from the wobbling electronics, we hit we hit the rock with you, Josh, on the drums, and then you come in with the hip-hop flow, Tyler, and it's just, it's, it's a complete pop song. I love it. I mean, do you guys find there is a formula at this point? It, it just feels like you churn them out like it's nothing. That song specifically, we knew... We, we realize that we've, we've released a f enough records now, we understand the importance of track one. Mm. It's so important. And not only that, but you know, it's hard for us to not feel like what we do on a record should feel good and translate live. And so we were looking for a, an op a new opening song. That, that's really the goal. This is gonna open the set? Yeah, so oh, that's, that's this cool. is for the, at least the next few years. Like We kept on saying teeth. That was the word we were using. We, we want this song to have teeth. Oh, yeah, it's and got so that. some of the sounds, because you can write the song, you can come up with the structure, and then there's, like, searching for the sounds. Josh, and then and then we just l unleash Josh on it, too. Well, that's that's really what I was going to say, dude. Jo yeah. You're out of control on this track. Do you feel, Josh, that, that when you're you're playing, you, you're doing, you're talking with your drumming, and, you, and you're kind of telling your story with your drumming? Yeah, I think during the shows, I don't, I don't say much I mean so he's, I com like he's communicating things through his drums he doesn't even realize can you, sometimes can you tell what I can is tell when he's drumming as the set goes on I can tell oh he's hungry <laughs> <laughs> he's he hasn't eaten today is it more specific than that can you tell what he needs to eat uh yeah well uh I, I can tell when he hasn't drank enough water <laughs> you know I, when you play every night or every other night or whatever we're doing now you you have to find a it's all about energy management Really, especially for this guy on the drums. Well, the first show we ever played together was like in a college person's backyard. And um, I was so excited. Actually, probably like near the end of the first song, I was like, uh oh, I'm not going to be able to keep this up for the whole thing. Uh, but after the first song, the dude who owned the house came up on the stage, which was some pallets, and he was like, the cops are here and we got to shut it down. And part of me was like, dang it this is our first show and the other part of me was like okay good well we'll come back at it next time i'll i'll learn how to budget the energy a little bit more josh have you ever had a have you ever had a name check on a song before well or yeah to overcompensate the first time uh no it's oh, happened before it has yeah. happened before it has yeah actually so one of the first so there's a song called the judge that's on a record blurry face where in the background you can hear me yell josh dunn but it's really far back there oh, and ever okay. since then I've always tried to throw that in there. Okay, so so you, you've thrown it in subtly before, but... Well, but the reason is because sometimes he'll get wild questions like, Josh, what's your favorite lyric on the album? <laughs> and he didn't write any of them, so now he always gets to just pick his own name. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah of that's course. That's the goal. <laughs> Look, we've got more to chat about, but let's get a song on before we do that. And actually, I really want to talk about this song again in just a second. It's one of the new ones. It is called Next Semester, ladies and gentlemen. I love this thing so much. I love it. 21 Pilots can do no wrong in terms of Clancy right now. This is called Next Semester. Boys back on in a second. This sounded so big the other night when they played it. In Camden, in London, 21 Pilots and Next Semester. Josh and Tyler hanging out tonight. And just before we come back from the boys, Pilots fans, I want to show you some love. Your energy on the WhatsApp right now is crazy. Hello to Ainsley. And all of the Scottish cliques group chat locked in listening right now. Looking forward to the Glasgow leg of the Clancy Tour. Kai, I see you out there. Hello to Hope, who couldn't get into the venue in Camden last week. So stood out round the back of the venue and listened with some of their friends dancing all night. And it goes down as one of the best nights of their lives. Amazing. Sarah in Orlando tonight. Jess from Northern Ireland. So many Pilots fans from all over the world locked in for this. And 
Look, next semester, alongside Ivan Compensate, I love uh, equally. I think it's a fantastic piece of music. It really reminds me of a, a sort of collision of the Beach Boys, the Ramones. I mean, are either of those artists important to you guys? Nope. Okay. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> Josh? I think they're both important. Well, my dad loved the Beach Boys. Yeah. But I... Are you kidding me? The Beach Boys are... The oh, you do like the Beach Boys. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> we do. We, he was like, oh, no, I ruined it. That's a bad question. No, it's an amazing question. Of course. We were in a rehearsal space one time, like, rehearsing for a tour, and someone was like, the Beach Boys are rehearsing in the room next to us, and we, like, pause and, like, put our ear against the wall and kind of, like, listening in a little bit. They're kind of old, but the key is... <laughs> <laughs> the key is to put the word boy in your band name. That's right. Everyone just feels like you're just youthful for the rest of your career. Yeah, you're timeless, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Mortal. Yeah. Actually, perhaps. They are beach men. Now they are, <laughs> for sure. Beach granddads yes. at this point. Um, do you think you've ever written a song like Next Semester before, sound-wise? I don't think so, actually. I that think that so. song, I, I do play the ukulele. I know it's not the mm. coolest necessarily, but I got the uh, I got a baritone uke. So basically, there's different sizes. And the baritone is the largest ukulele you can do, which yeah. is right up against guitar. It's such a fun instrument. Mm. Next step up for me is baritone drums. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you make, of course, your directorial debut. Another thing to congratulate. Oh, my gosh. For the, uh, backslide video, of course. Um, Josh, how does it feel to be a director? Uh, I feel like I should have, like, some kind of hat. <laughs> like some kind of yeah. Most directors have a hat. Yeah, yeah. A chair with your I do, on it, and I do need yeah. to figure out what my hat is now that now that I'm a uh, director. Yeah. Look, guys, whether it's overcompensate next semester, backslide, all these songs um, talk about change in some way, um, and they also feel very youthful as well, which is a time in your life when a lot of change is going on. I mean, for both of you, did you feel like you were tapping back into being younger to make this record at all? Yeah, I think. Um the way I would describe this record is a little more sure of itself. I think that, you know, when you when you start creating, you kind of assume no one's going to hear it. And so you you feel a freedom to just create whatever you want. Um, and then we're fortunate enough to have a career creating and showing people like the creator is aware of the audience in the process. And that's not always a good thing. And so the idea is to try to to try to buff that out as much as possible and as our career moves forward i look at each record and i feel like it's just kind of constantly trying to get back to that point where you're creating because you love to create at least that's what i think the record's trying to do you've got to be enjoying yourself and love it before yeah. anything else and it really sounds like it i can't wait for clancy 24th of may is when it drops tyler and josh thank you so much for hanging out make some noise studio thank you <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, this band. What are they doing to me? Pilots fans, tell me what is happening to me when I listen to their music. It just brings me out. I feel like me when I listen to 21 Pilots. Uh, it's exactly how you guys have been describing them tonight as well. That focus on the lyricism that Tyler spoke about so passionately just then. That is 21 Pilots when they're at their very best. They do it so well across this new music on Clancy, whilst also telling the law of it all at the same time, because if you're a 21 Pilots fan, you'll know about the Clancy law. Yes, Bree, overcompensate, unmatched. They really cooked for this. W, absolutely, without a doubt. Hello to Liliana from Columbus, Ohio. Hey, isn't that the home of 21 Pilots? Logged in loud tonight on Radio One's new music show, and we are worldwide tonight. Romania's in. Hello to you. Katie from Poland. The Netherlands locked in. Shay is with us again from Ohio. Singapore. Chris in Mexico. This band are inevitable, whether you like it or not. They will impact you in some way. And tonight, they really, really did. Clancy, the brand new album is imminent, not far away. You heard next semester and overcompensate from it. Thank you very much to Tyler and Josh for hanging out tonight on Radio 1.